Good morning and welcome to my channel. It is Sunday and I am here with another video as usual. Sorry, my jacket's at the back. Um, you know how you carry something because you just never know if it's going to rain or, or not. I don't know. It looks like it might rain, but then it's sunny. Very cloudy. I don't know if you can see the skies. You may not be able to see, but can you see? It's looking a bit, mm, I don't know. So I'm not so sure. I might, I might carry the jacket anyway. Welcome to my channel. My name is Joyce for those who are new here and I do all things personal development. Recently, I've had a um, couple of questions in my uh, private stuff that I do. And somebody was asking me, uh, there was a, well, it wasn't just one person. There's quite a few people asking about this idea of singleness and enjoying your season. Because I do talk a lot about that. And the reason that I do is because society has almost stigmatized being single. There's nothing wrong with being on. And I think actually just the word single is problematic because you were born single anyway. So why is that such a big deal? And uh, as you know, you will end up single on your last breath. So I still don't get why there's this coupling bit where where if you're not coupled up, then there's something mega wrong with you. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you if you are single. Whether that's be out of choice or that has been due to circumstances that have forced you to be in a season of being on your own. There is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with it. Enjoy your season. Align yourself. If you do want a person, believe this is possible for you. If you do like online dating, go for it. If you're one of those that believes in serendipity and um, divine moments, so be it as well, you know. But in the meantime, in the meantime, work on yourself. Work on your career. Work on your business, work on your finances, work on your body, work on your mind, work on your friendships, work on your home. And if you are like me, work on your allotment. Educate yourself. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a formal education. It could just be hobbies. You know, you might be interested in, I don't know, project management. You might be interested in mathematics you might be interested in sewing get your hands on that because once you find somebody or the person the person finds you however you you know want to roll with that then it will be a bit more investment in that and you will be ready because you will have done the things that you've wanted to do and understood yourself a little bit better don't waste your time looking for praying about what is me, wondering why everybody else is coupled up. Trust me, things are not always as they seem. Even for those people that you think, oh my gosh, they're having the time of their life, may not be true. So don't be deceived by how things are. Don't let society define you or put you in a box. Choose how you will live your life. That has always been my message and continues to be. If you keep letting people define who you are, tell you what to do, you will never accomplish anything that you want to do in life. Because part of defining yourself is in understanding what it is that you want. And for most people, it's completely contrary to what the world is telling you to be doing. Because it's a different thought, it's a fresh thought, it's divine and it's your own. So I would suggest that you forget what the world is telling you and start investing on yourself. Now, if you are coupled up and you are really happy, good for you. Life is beautiful. Life is also beautiful for those who are single. And um, there is no need for projection, whichever way you flow. So um, I'm a big proponent about being in the right place at the right time. And usually that means following your bliss. So 
I hope that's been helpful. Don't worry about it. If you're not with someone, don't worry about it. If you want it, it will be there soon. In the meantime, have the time of your life. Have an incredible day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.